Yeah, I mean, you notice, you know. Hey, everybody. It's Johnny Bean and Jay Hannon. Welcome. We're uh, talking guitars today and a live unboxing. Thank you to, to Jay Hannon. Ooh, that's right. I think unless it, it's just, you know, I wanted to just double check to make sure I won't be disappointed on the air. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's five o'clock on the button. Pacific oh, 501 now. Yeah. 801, Jay Hannon time. July 31st, 2018. Last day of uh, July, I guess. Or as they say down here in South Carolina, July. Mm -hmm. Last day of July. <laughs> Thank you, YouTube, for telling me that we're live. Thank you. That was nice of them. That's very nice. Yeah. And so, yeah, so real quickly, speaking of uh, last day of July, um, I'll be doing the, the vlog every day starting tomorrow. So if you guys like vlogs, if you guys like daily videos, and if not, <laughs> too bad. <laughs> I'm already working uh, my chops. <laughs> <laughs> wow, we got a look at this. We got Claude G. You guys weren't tardy tonight. Nope. No. Well, so usually we're the two guys that are on time. Let me just say. Oh. Notice, notice somebody else in here. Speak, speak for yourself, man. Not me. Uh, Little David Edis, hey, good to see you, man. Mark Taylor, Jason Wade, Shane Robinson, Fender Guru, Jim Gittry, uh, Sigmax44, hey, Eduardo, and I think that's I think that's everybody in the chat so far. Maybe, yeah. Hey, welcome. Welcome. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So what's uh, what is today? Tuesday. Yeah. Or as Steve Anderson would call it, Cho Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, speaking of, of Tuesdays, hey, Angela. Hey, man. Speaking of Tuesday, I don't know who brought it up on Friday. I think it was the earlier. Was it earlier Friday? I don't know. Somebody brought up um, till Tuesday. Yes, I don't know. I believe who. it was you. I brought it up. Somebody either, did. I, either you or somebody else in the chat. Somebody brought it up, and I don't know why, but th that's all I've been listening to since since Friday. That's it. Well, you know what's funny about that is Jeannie and I and Ellie went to Myrtle Beach yesterday, and we listened to that all the way there in the car. Mm hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. The one, the one song, or, or different songs. It was their top, whatever their their popular songs on their uh, Spotify. Okay, okay, yeah. so they were like, all good. I was like, "Ooh, I got to add this to my '80s playlist." Ooh, I got to add this to my '80s playlist. Yeah, There's some good ones in there, man. I was doing that's what I was doing late last night. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know who brought it up. I'll have to look back on the video. But um, thing is, I remember that song back in the day. I remember the music video mm -hmm. back back in the day, you know, and was like, oh, it's it's a good song, whatever, you know. But I, I started listening to it because um, somebody somebody put it in the in the Discord on oh. on on Friday, the video. And um, so I John watched. BL? Probably, probably was John Bl. Thank you so much, man. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I so I watched the and we're talking about till Tuesday. Uh, Voices carry is mm -hmm. what we're talking about. The music video <clears throat> and so i was watching that friday night or i it would have been in between the, the early show and the late show i guess maybe i don't know um but anyway that's i've, I've been like you yeah, i've been on spotify listening mm -hmm. to to all their songs watching all their videos watching cover versions of of their of their tunes on, on youtube um, and even I ended up doing like a little cover of, of, uh, of the song d when I went live on, uh, that would have been maybe Saturday, maybe Saturday night I, I went live or I don't know, Sunday or something. Mm -hmm. Um, and I just kind of played, played voices carry just a little bit, you know, did anybody pick it out in the chat? Um, not when I was live, but somebody later did. 
Oh, cool. Somebody later posted a comment on there saying "Till Tuesday called," and um, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, great stuff. Right? No, it is, and, and sometimes when you go back and listen to a lot of those '80s groups, like that had like you remember one hit song of theirs. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, obviously, more often than not, you'll start scrolling through their library, and, and you're like, "Ugh." Like that is the only good song. <laughs> no, man. Like I said, I, I just let I just let the popular songs run. Or they're you know the most the most played, I guess it is on Spotify. Mm -hmm. And every one that every, like I forget how many songs we ended up getting through by the time we got there, but every one was like what you want it to be, like that 80s vibe and just it sounded good. You know, and there were good songs. Oh, somebody had a burp. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. why why mute the microphone i'm just gonna call it out anyway <laughs> well i mean yeah why even i mean there's there's a sound effect for it you know so why you know er uh, yeah. everybody knows what it sounds like yep <laughs> we're gonna have to get our own version of these <laughs> sell them uh, on the johnny bean store with the different drops different uh yeah we can yeah. make our own yeah yeah you can probably do that actually. There probably is. There probably is a way to do that. We'll just make our own soundboard, I guess. Mm -hmm. Have an app for the phone or the iPad. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that'd be cool. That would be cool. That'd be cool. Hey, Michael Bishop. Hey, Clayton James. Today's Wolfgang Wednesday. Is it? What? Is it? Maybe it's Wednesday where he is. I, th I think it's Tuesday. Well, if he's in, where, where is uh, Clayton? Oh, if he's know. in the UK, I guess it is, uh, it's midnight, right? It's 12.07 a.m. on Wednesday, right? It's five hours it's... ahead over there. Oh, for you. For me, they're eight hours. No, no, no. Yeah, for me. I'm. It, yeah. It's like one, yeah. it's like after one in the morning there, I think. Yeah. Or something. Or something. Yeah, I think they're five hours ahead <laughs> of me. And eight hours ahead of you. Yes. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's right. <clears throat> that's right. <laughs> Speaking of the UK, that just reminded me of something. Do you want to uh, announce who our guest will be this Saturday? Uh, that's this Saturday? <laughs> yes. <laughs> August 4th, man. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, I, I, I think you, I think you, uh, you should announce it. I, th I think. Uh... Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> or Nesdol. Does Nesdol? Oh, wait. He's not, here. he's not here. I forgot. We have Thomas McRocklin joining us on Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern time, right? Uh, Pacific no, no, time. No, 4 p.m. Eastern, right? Yeah. Yes. 4, 4 p.m. Eastern, 1 p.m. Pacific. Yes. That's why you should have announced it. Saturday. Yes. I'm gonna have to get out of bed at noon. <laughs> get some Nick no. Thompson tea. Yep, yep. Which I got right here. No, like I was just telling Jay, I get up at, at seven o'clock every morning, and nothing you know. gets you down. Nope. You got it tough. Yeah. <laughs> You've seen the Frank C. Time. Yeah, Romeo Delight ninety. Hey, good to see you, Matthew Stewart, John Beal fifty one fifty. Uh, Jason Wade posted the, the till Tuesday video in the discord. Okay. Okay. Okay, cool. Well, hey, Jason, man, that's all I've been listening to since, since Friday. And I'm not kidding. I'm not joking. I'm listening to every single version of voices carry. I can find how many albums did they have? Uh, they, uh, they had a few as a band. And then of course, Amy Mann went solo um after that it has been active you know since um i think i think till tuesday i think they were a band from 80 83 to 89 maybe let's see something like that sometimes you can't trust spotify because some some albums excuse me aren't on here you know it's got right it's right. got like 85 to 88 it's that, got that, four albums from them but one of them is like a retrospect a retrospective thing so yeah that sounds about right mm -hmm. yeah so is this technically till till tuesday tuesday 
<laughs> Could be. Till Tuesday. Just want Tuesday. To, we, can just talk, we can talk. If you guys want, we can just talk about them the whole time. That's fine with me. I don't know anything about them. You know? Did you know um, that mm -mm. song, that song, Voices Carry? Actually, it was written. Uh, it was basically written about a female singing about another female. Ooh, I'm, I'm more interested now than I was before. And when they released the song, the record company made them change the lyrics. Oh. So they changed it to he, whereas before it was she. Well, imagine if Elton John changed all his lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> well, he doesn't even write the lyrics. He, Elton he, John he, doesn't he, write his own lyrics? No, he's got somebody who writes for him. Oh, I think. Man. Is that right? Or am I, I think, am I thinking about somebody else? There's somebody, I think it's Elton John. I think all his songs, um, lyrics are by somebody, and I think he does the music. Hmm. Maybe. Let me know. Let me know, yeah. you guys. Don't, that's how rumors spread, Johnny. Uh oh. We'll have to, we'll have to get him on and uh, straighten things out. Yeah. Well, there's, no, there's, there's no Elton John fans watching this. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> um john hey johnny do you remember a band called romeo void from san francisco yes i actually i saw them actually in san francisco they opened up for missing persons i oh, saw really? them at the red devil lounge in <laughs> 2000 when was it 2011 2012 that was the same night i was telling you guys i i, I ran into uh warren cucarello outside and I, and wanted to trade guitar picks with him, and he's like, I don't even. He's like, I don't use picks. That was that same night. Romeo Void opened up. You tell him to give him give you one of his fingernails. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so there you go. Everyone's saying that uh, Bernie Tupin, Taupin. How do you say it? Uh, Benny. B B B Bernie and the Jets. Benny and the Jets. Mm hmm. He only wrote the okay. I guess it is true. Although now that I think about it, I think I was talking about some other duo. <laughs> I think I think there was another there was another songwriting team where somebody somebody does the lyrics. Maybe I'm thinking about Meatloaf. Maybe you're thinking of uh Hall and Oates. Hall and Oates? <laughs> I don't know. I'm just did he, did each one do their own? Well, I I thought that uh Oates was the one who wrote all the music. I could be wrong, and usually I am. So I don't know. I just remember when I was a kid. I remember uh, a friend of mine's uh, sister went and saw them in concert. You mm -hmm. know, and this is way back in the day. And she was so excited to see uh, Oats in these tight leather pants. She came back the next. Oats? Day. Yeah, Oats was the mustache. <laughs> yeah, I know. Oh, and she wanted to see him. She liked him. I guess. I guess he was. Yeah. She was just <laughs> talking about him in these tight pants and. and <laughs> Wow. <laughs> and hey, you want to, you, we can put a Van Halen spin on that. Actually, there's a picture of him playing uh, a Van Halen striped guitar actually out there. Oats. Really? Did you know that? Yeah. No, I didn't know that. A replica. Somebody made a replica and uh, they were hanging out with Oats and Oats was playing the guitar. I saw it on it, Facebook. So, what, what do they call the little uh, birds? The on, seagulls. Uh, seagulls? Did they, did they make those little mustaches instead? <laughs> <laughs> just just for his guitar <laughs> oh that'd be funny that'd be funny yeah <laughs> oh man. we gotta post that picture in the discord somebody somebody find that picture of of oats playing a van halen striped guitar and post it over there i saw it somebody on i think it was a, a facebook friend actually posted that ah i'll look for it but yeah um what were we even how did we how did we get to that um oh yeah i i forget who anyway anyway so it's, it's good to know elton john and uh yeah whatever well absolute mayhem is saying um sir Her sir elton hercules john is that true hercules <laughs> <laughs> born reginald true. kenneth dwight i think that's true yeah wait a second reginald elton hercules john from Reginald Kenneth Dwight. How does 
how do things like that happen? You could see how, for instance, uh, the Anthrax singer, Joey Belladonna, like his real name is like Joey Bellardini or something like that. You can see how somebody would change their name, you know, to kind of whatever. Uh, uh, the Foreigner singer, right? He Lou changed Graham? his last name a little bit to sound a little more rock star-ish. Um, you know, Michael Anthony, obviously, you know. But to take a name and you just completely get out of here. I want a brand new name. <laughs> uh-huh. Oh, so he made up the Hercules part then. That's some balls. So you make, who makes up their own middle name? You can make up a, a new middle name? Yeah, I guess. That's... Oh. Well, people think Johnny Bean is actually my real name, and it's not. You know? Although I'll you guys I'll never tell you guys my real name. It's David Nasdall. It's it's very close to to uh something, something, something. I want to see that picture of, of of it's John Oates, right? Yeah. I wanna I wanna see him playing that guitar now. Let me see if I can find it. Pete Caruccio of... uh says, uh JB, did you see live on a net version of One Way to Rock when I sat in with the Van Hagar on Saturday? I saw it. And I was very upset that there was no kicks in the beginning. <laughs> very upset. Hey, Pete. It was awesome, though. It was a, it was a good, uh, good performance, man. Oh, on on a Facebook Live. Is the video still up? No, I'm sorry, I, I didn't see you guys live. Um, but uh, I, I, I want to see. I want to see a bunch that. of videos. Craig, Craig still has a bunch of videos still up, so it might be in his. Um, Okay, but it was cool, man. I gotta see that. I gotta see that. All right, I'm looking for parachute it. pants or anything like that. <laughs> uh, I'm looking for that picture now. Although I'll never find it because it was it was a Facebook post, so it wouldn't be public. Uh. Anyway, that gives you guys more of a. Uh, an excuse to join us over in the Discord. I'll, I'll find the picture and put it in the Discord. So, of John Oates playing a Van Halen striped guitar. <laughs> Pete says me and Bill are over five hundred pounds combined. We would have fell through the stage. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! <laughs> oh, it's on your page. Okay, cool. Cool. Oh, man. If it's public, Pete, if it's a public post, um, I'll, I'll put it over in the Discord as well so people over there can watch it. Cool. And Pete, your tone is phenomenal, by the yeah. way. Yep. Sounds great. Yep. Uh, cool. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what else? What else? Um, I've been doing some uh, some recording. Ooh. With the, the Strat, David Ennis, thank you again so much. Actually, uh, somebody contacted me yesterday and hired me to do some guitar for a, a film soundtrack. Ooh. So that's what I was working on today. That's what I was working on today, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. I wonder if we're doing the same thing. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> I'll get a phone call later on tonight. Yeah, some other guy sent in a, a couple tracks. We're going to go with him. Oh, <laughs> guy Johnny out in uh, California. I don't know. He has his own guitar show on on YouTube. Nesdal something or other. <laughs> Johnny Nesdal claims to be a fan of bluegrass. <laughs> <laughs> no, actually, I do know it, it's something totally different. But, <laughs> um, but anyway, yeah. Look for look for something uh, something from that at some point. I guess. Um, I'll be working on some of that later. Later tonight, after after our walk with Howie and dinner and everything. Hey, Brian Davies, good to see you. That's why I have see that uh, acoustic back there. Mm -hmm. I had to bust that out today, reluctantly, because I had I wrote the part with uh, just regular guitars and stuff, and I was like, man, it needs an acoustic, son of a. <laughs> so I had to go grab it. Mm hmm. Well, do, do you have the the Boss uh, acoustic simulator? No, I do not. It's it's but, not a bad pedal. It's really not. No. I think I. What color is it? 
it's it's like a acoustic color <laughs> it, it's it's like it's like a tan it's like a <laughs> i think i i had to have that when i was uh, younger i think i did mm -hmm. but no i just i run it um di into pro tools and then i use a uh acoustic simulator plugin type of thing you know mm -hmm. so but it wasn't like a main part it was kind of like panned one side and kind of ducked down in the mix a little bit just to kind of give it a little extra mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. something but it needed cool. It. cool cool yeah for recording um it's not bad um but i would actually use the one that i, that I had i would use it for for uh for live actually mm -hmm. just playing like direct i'd be playing like a guitar direct into it direct into a pa and it'd sound fine mm -hmm. it'd actually sound like an acoustic or an electric acoustic yeah you know? so uh brian davies a uh, bit of science for uh, for for all of you uh did you know you're not just talking to me now johnny bean but you're talking to me in the future oh wow oh because he he's he's one of the guys that's like eight hours ahead you know and there's a slight delay on this so you're saying it but he's hearing it like five seconds later you know now i'm really confused <laughs> yeah do, 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 do. <laughs> oh uh <laughs> what absolute mayhem oh he, he, he figured it out man <laughs> oh <laughs> hey james orcutt good to see you man mm -hmm. <laughs> what's up man nice oh yeah james he, he he's posted pictures of the telecaster that he uh he built was building built over in the discord which is very cool guitar hack johnny that's a beautiful dog thank you so much man he is and he's uh cleaning his foot or something <laughs> yeah i wish he i doesn't... could clean my foot like that <laughs> <laughs> romeo delight 90 <laughs> says uh so i'm looking to downsize my rig anybody have any suggestions on any modeler type setup such as the head rush helix etc um i have a kemper and i love it um, also, I have experience not personally playing with, but hearing firsthand um, the Helix. And it sounds awesome. As long as you get the right patches and, uh, and all that stuff, um, they sound great. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. Well, our friend uh, Jaden James has one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's, he's posted videos. Those are videos with his. Um, Joe Wentz. Hey. Good to see you, man. <laughs> Joe, thanks again, man. Joe was wearing a, a Johnny Bean TV t-shirt in, in one of his previous videos. Uh. I saw that. <laughs> and it wasn't backwards. <laughs> Oh, really? Well, I was thinking maybe that's why Joe got the left-handed guitar on his shirt so that when he did some of his videos, it would be a right-handed guitar. Yeah. <laughs> I've always wondered, Joe, I've always wondered why you have a left-handed guitar on your logo. Although I kind of think maybe that has to do with Hendrix, maybe. Yeah, I remember you saying something like that. Yep. Maybe. I don't know. So James Dorcott has a Helix. I'm assuming he loves it. Cool. Cool. Uh, Shane Robinson, Johnny, I I was watching Van Halen live in Germany, 1998. Ed had a white PV Wolfgang with an odd tremolo on it. It was a good guitar. Oh, no. Uh-oh. You guys, you're here. <laughs> A lot of chatting, which is which we love. 
Um, on the guitar, it had two chords plugged into it. Do you know what tremolo was on it and what the chord? Uh, I think you know what I'm trying to say. Um, yeah, it was it was a guitar. It was a Wolfgang with a trans trem. Is what that was. Meaning, I think the song you're you're watching was uh, "Fire in the Hole," right? Probably. But the guitar that's I I wasn't really listening. I just heard a white Wolfgang with a trans trem, <laughs> and that's that should be the one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I gotta get back to. Uh, Romeo Delights asking James Orcutt, uh, what is your opinion on the overdrive sounds? I've heard they can get fizzy sounding. <clears throat> well, that's that's a big thing with a lot of the, a lot of the digital stuff is the the distortions. You know, they've never been able to, or it's very it is very difficult to get them to sound like a tube amp. Um, but like I said, certain most patches aren't that good. But what I do is, like I've told you before, is I'll send, I have, actually have it set up right now. I have my Kemper right here. I have it running. I have a guitar cable going right here. Over to here, where my Mesa Boogie Simulclass 290 power amp is. And then the speaker out is going. See that cable that's going. Bah! There it is. Bah! <laughs> that amp. Yep. So I'm actually using a power amp. And miking a cabinet, um, and that could help it a lot too. Cool. Get that tube warmth and speaker cool. movement. Awesome. Yeah, man. I mean, when you get some sort of a multi uh, effects thing that has all, like tons of different like settings, you know, different uh, amplifier stuff and whatever. Um, I hope I'm making sense. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Nine times out of ten, like nine of those patches don't Sorry. sound good, mm -hmm. and you'll find one that that works for you that you can use. Um, man, that was the problem I had with the uh, the Roland uh, guitar synthesizer synthesizer that I used to have years ago. I ended up having to sell it. Um, that thing, it's like you, you look at the box. Whoa, two hundred presets! Awesome. Yeah. You scroll through it. Next. Next. Oh, that's almost cool, but it has some weird sound at the end. You know, next. And mm -hmm. then you, you end up with like literally I had like there was one patch I could use. Just and one. Was it like a special effect patch? Because usually it's like, oh, that's pretty <laughs> neat. I'll never use it, but it's cool. No, those are always just terrible. Yeah. Um, no, it was it was uh like a synth, it was like a pad. It was like a synthesizer pad patch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Say that five times fast. Um, and so on all the demos and recordings that, you know, back, uh, when was I using that? 2005, 2006, mm -hmm. you know, I've got a lot of songs that have like, a, it sounds like keyboards in the back, but it's really just guitar. It's me just hitting chords. Cool. You know? Um, James Orcutt says, uh, what is it? You can still throw your favorite pedal with the helix. Um, I think he's like, I know that a lot of people were saying um, that if you put like a tube screamer or a, a you know Maxon 808 or something um, in front of it, it helps a ton as well. You know, when you're talking about like the uh, you know Kemper or a Helix or something like that, mm -hmm. gives gives it more of a realistic. Yep, puts more. Uh, yeah, I know what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I mean it's always good when you when you, you can, when you can use uh, actual uh, pedals and, and stuff over. Although most of that stuff, I mean, yeah, you can you can use anything with anything. Yeah, as so, long as it sounds good, you know. Mm -hmm. I always say, as long as it sounds good, it is good. Mm -hmm. oh, well, hey, we can quote you on that. <laughs> I <I'm, I'm> probably <laughs> ripped it off from somebody. <laughs> That's all. No. no. Um. Jim Nicholas, hey now. You still eat at Chipotle? Bunch of people. 107, 170 people got sick in Ohio from Chipotle. Uh, they all got the Nesdal huh? brisket. What? <laughs> um, 
I, I yes, I, I still do eat, eat at Chipotle. I haven't lately. Um, I'll have to look look into that. I know they had <laughs> they had something with the uh, their lettuce was bad or something, and a lot of people nationwide were getting sick. And this is a while. This is a long time ago. I, I stopped eating there for a, a little while during that. Um, although I really haven't been eating there lately. So I think, oh, and I'm not in Ohio. So, yeah. Although, hey, if you're in Ohio and you're getting sick, uh, feel better. I mean, that's. <laughs> and, and hire a lawyer. <laughs> All right, I'll be right back. I'm going to, uh, and then we'll unbox this. Uh unpackage this box unbox this package <laughs> so uh, unseal yeah i'll be right back <laughs> man chipotle oh that sounds so good i'm so hungry all i ate today was a, a bowl of uh honey nut cheerios let's see who else um Jason Wade. I mean, to talk. Actually, I stopped Taco Bell as well. A lot of you guys don't know. I actually used to eat at Taco Bell all the time, like years ago. And then my doctor is like, Johnny, stop eating there. So I actually, I stopped for about five or six years and then just recently got back into it. And all of a sudden, I weigh like three more pounds. Not good. Although I, I do have their uh, the Taco Bell sauce, you know, you just go in there, grab a handful, and and leave. I, I actually do have their eat, enjoy their sauce on top of like homemade uh, food, which is awesome. R two R threes in here. Hey, good to see you. There you are. Yes, so it's un it's it's unpackaging time. Un almost real quick, I just wanted to get to something. I don't know if you uh, well you saw my post, but anybody in the chat, I retubed my Mesa Boogie power amp a couple days ago, right? Yeah, there's I saw the Instagram. Yeah, there's eight power tubes, and there's three preamp tubes. So I redid, I retubed the entire thing. So I got to the last tube. And, you know, I'm, as, uh, as she says, I'm pushing it in and a plastic, can't say that, but the plastic <laughs> cracked off of the last two. Oh. Yep. So I was highly upset, man. That sucks. Well, at least it's, it's the, it's the tube and not. Not on the on the amp side. Yes, you, you right? have a good point there. Um, and also, like this, it's a two channel. You know, it's got channel A and channel B. So channel A uses four, like half of it, and then channel B uses the other half. So I'm only using half of it anyway. Mm -hmm. So I don't, you know, I just took because the way you have to do it. Nesdal gave me a quick um, crash course in brain surgery for changing for you know doing tubes. I guess they have to be like lined up certain like the power sections have to be like uh paired correctly or matched i guess so each tube has a color i guess the mesa boogie tubes i don't know how other companies do it but if you could see this says uh match something it says yel for yellow okay yeah. so when you line them up each row had like it's hard, I, I can't explain this because I'm, I'm gonna sound like an idiot and i'm gonna confuse myself but if you don't do it correctly you'll screw your whole thing up and I'm sure there's some people that know what I'm talking about, but he helped me out. So I did it properly, but I still broke one, but it works. So I had to put two of the older ones in crap. Mm. Oh no. Yeah. But they do look cool, man. You know, awesome stuff. Oh, all right. We ready? Uh oh. Yeah, don't show the address. No, I already took it off. I think. <laughs> <laughs> if, Jay, if Jay comes back wearing a French maid's outfit, 
What? <laughs> um, Guitar Hack says, did you check the bias? Um, with the Simul Class 290, you don't have to rebias anything or anything like that. It's uh, That's good to go. I checked on that as well. Actually called them, and they were like, no, you're fine. Just All you have to do is change the tubes and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. All right, shall I? Yeah, let's let's see what's in there. Is I don't it? remember. I don't remember if I put unboxing in the title of this video or not. I, I don't know. <gasps> so this is from our friends at Floyd Road. Floyd Rose. Oh, now we know what it is. <laughs> oh yeah, I shouldn't have said that. <laughs> Right, where's a uh, a guitar player's worst nightmare? A razor blade. One slip and you're not playing guitar for three weeks, you know? Or longer. Mm -hmm. Or a paper cut. Mm -hmm. Actually, for the past couple days, I had, I guess it's called a hangnail, I guess. And, and that, yeah, that was... Okay, here we go. So here's item number one is a t-shirt. Ah, cool. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. We like the t-shirts. That's right. That's right. <laughs> hey, Jeannie. Hey, Jeannie. What's going on? <laughs> I think she's talking to you. <laughs> yeah, she definitely is. Now, I did ask for the Floyd Rose, the old school logo, you know, that shirt. But this is the one I got. So, oh, well, I'll wear it anyway. <laughs> that was nice of him. That's very cool. All right. Now, what else do we have here? Oh, wow. I never got one of these in the box before. So it is a original Floyd Rose hot rod. So that means it has the stainless extra goodies. Are you presenting me or no? There we go. Oh, I just did. Oh, look. Oh, that's that's awesome. Oh, it's got the stainless. Um, uh, what, yeah, what, what do they call it? Dave. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where are wake, you? Wake up. I know he's asleep on the lawn watching that bluegrass. <laughs> asleep on the lawn. <laughs> Passed out. <laughs> Come on, focus. It's on the uh, on the computer monitor. So I'll, meet, I'll just take it out. I, How about that? I can see him. You, you, you can still see that it, it's... Uh, well, here we go. The stainless. Saddle screws. Saddle. Oh, well, present me again. <laughs> Presenting Jay Hannon. There he is. There you go. So we got. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> I wish it was oh, like your phone. You could just touch your, almost. Touch, your computer, touch your computer. It's focusing on my shirt. It's 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 because of the brightness, I think. Yeah. It's pumping. Cause it, it's because it's getting. Yeah. Tilt it like a, like sideways. The big brass. Oh, look at that. Bell block. Yep. Man. So this is a hot rodded Floyd Rose original. And I don't know why they didn't really tighten that, but they put the old school arm in for me. They actually did that. Mm hmm Yeah. So I got that. There we go. I won't move. Ah, that, that's nice, man. And then also... Blinding chrome? Yep, blinding chrome. Come on. Oh, and those are the, the stainless... Uh, yes. The screws. The, uh, <laughs> the lockings. Yeah. And then everything to 
install is underneath which I don't really need that much of it because I'm just changing out the Floyd in that. That. Yeah. Oh, really? Yep. So Man. we got to go. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's going to be, I mean, that's already an amazing guitar, but yeah. It is, man. I Slap love it. that thing on there, man. Oh. Mm -hmm. Now I know there's uh, people, I saw on a post the other day about, um, Somebody asking the differences between like, you know, the EVH Floyd and then the, the Floyd special that comes on the um, EVH standards or the Wolfgang standards. And um, I don't like to get involved in a lot of these discussions, you know, because Steve Anderson find out the hard way. You get people yelling at you and telling you you're an idiot and name calling. And next thing you know, you're getting into a Facebook fight. So I kind of stay out of it. But <laughs> when people, um, you know, ask the difference of like. The difference between like an EVH branded Floyd that they put on the on the specials and even the USA signatures and USA ones, mm -hmm. um, they the German original Floyds they do feel better, man. You know, they really do. It's it's different material. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's it's a heavier. It's just a, a heavier piece of uh, of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm pumped. I'm pumped. So yeah. And then they that's the original arm that was on it. They took that right, off. Right, right, right. Just in case I don't like the old school style arm. I can always switch it back to that. Mm hmm Let's see that. Actually, that's 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 a little, a little different. It didn't look like it screwed in. It looked like it just popped in. What this one? The new one. The new one? Is that so not does, right? Well, the, the, the original ones screw in. They have threads. They the only they thread is in. on the back of it. See? Mm hmm Which I guess is kind of weird, too. But I don't know. I sent you guys that link a few weeks ago of that company that makes – the attachment and arms the so collar. you can actually have it tight and it still spins loose because that's my main thing that's what i want i want it so there's no play but i want it to spin nice and loose there hmm. cool cool i i like the play Hey, this thing is nice, man. <laughs> but the main difference that people will instantly notice if you have a German Floyd compared to the EVH one is the are the fine tuners. Like the fine tuners on a on a German original Floyd are just super smooth, man. Like butter. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're, they're all just a little little different. Mm-hmm. All right. Any questions that we're missing here or that I'm missing? <laughs> hey, showman. Good to see you. Oh, showman doesn't like the play. Yeah, I don't. Showman, do you do anything special to uh, eliminate the play? Uh, Absolute Mayhem is saying O-rings. Showman, so is Jay making some changes to the white EVH? I'm just swapping out the Floyd for a real one. That's it. <clears throat> John BLJ, is that direct from... Uh... Yeah, it's direct from Floyd Rose. Mm -hmm. Um... Is that trim pretty much the same compared to the FU tone trims? I have no idea. I mean, I've heard that the FU tone trims are phenomenal, but I have uh, I have not tried them. I I haven't tried them either. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think they're exactly the same. I think they're a little different. Um, kind kind of like uh, you know, like like the Music Man 
the Goto Tremolo versus the PV Wolfgang Tremolo versus the EVH Tremolo. You know, they're all they all do the same thing, but they're all slightly different. Mm -hmm. You know, like a slightly different shape. Um, I mean, I do know that everything that Adam Reaver makes is is phenomenal. So I don't see why uh, his his uh, Tremolos would be any different. Um, can you use a spring in that? Is he talking? I tried that one time. Remember, I put a spring underneath to kind of help get rid of the play, but it didn't work. Um, mm -hmm. Let's see. Are you going to have to shim the Floyd for the compound radius of the EVH neck? No, because the saddles are already... Can you see that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're yeah, already can, meant you can, for that. You can see the, the curve. Mm -hmm. Yep. I told her what guitar was going in and the, and the radius of the neck and stuff. So, <clears throat> That's cool. Mm -hmm. um, Jim Nicholas. Oh, sorry. Huh? <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead. I was going to ask you a question. Oh, really quickly, uh, Jim Nicholas is asking, uh, have, have you seen the new Wilkinson Bridge bridge that Pete Thorne uh, demoed yesterday? Fender-style bridge with Allen wrench. Huh? Allen wrench uh, needed for the bridge saddles? Have I seen that? I might I might have saw that at the NAMM show, maybe. Although I, I didn't see the Pete, the Pete Thorne uh, demo, no. No, I'll, I'll have to check that out. And then what? Well, so that's something I was going to ask you. The, the Wilkinson Tremolos, I remember when I first saw them, I think the first guitars I saw those on were the Carvins back when they used to send the, you know, the their catalogs directly to your house. Mm -hmm. And I remember they started putting Wilkinson Tremolos as, as well as the Floyds. It was an option. Um, I just could never get into the look of them. You know, it's like they they're small. I, I prefer the larger looking bridge, you know, tremolos. If you're going to have a tremolo, it it needs to be bigger. You know what I mean? <laughs> Without it, it makes the butt of the guitar look huge. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know if you have a preference in that either. or You could care less. I know I'm more of a uh, tremolo guy than you are, but. I actually I, I do have a Wilkinson tremolo. I have one on, I think it's a Jackson, on a Jackson body. Mm -hmm. I think I showed it off. I showed it off on here recently, and you guys were all thrown up. <laughs> the body had like duct, the, the whole back of the body was duct taped. <laughs> Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> so how does a Wilkinson feel? Because I, I have this question for a lot of people. How does a Wilkinson feel compared to a Floyd? To me, it, it feels the Wilkinson feels more like a, a vintage uh, Fender, more more like this, mm -hmm. like one of those. You know, and you can't do as much crazy stuff on it, correct? No, no. Well, I mean, it, it really depends. Well, I guess you could. I mean, you you would just. It's all about having the locking nut. Mm -hmm. It's about being locked up there. I mean, yeah, you can do what you want. But, you know, all better than the Wonder Bar, Jim. Yeah, the Wonder Bar, man. That, Wonder that, Bar? Yeah, the Washburn Wonder Bar. It's, did I sell mine? <laughs> I had one. I used to have one on a Hamer. It, it came with it uh, years and years ago. And that thing's a, a nightmare. Just to change the strings. Just everything. It's like it's like the biggest looking tremolo you've ever seen. And I'm gonna have to look this up. John BL post <laughs> post a picture in the <laughs> the disc <laughs> the Wonder Bar. The Washburn. Washburn Wonder Wonder Bar. WW. Yeah. Yeah. And I remember on, on my guitar it had the 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 Ugh. The, the locking thing like above the nut you know the nut itself didn't lock it was above the nut oh you're looking at it that is disgusting 
It looks like like the, uh, the prototype, like the first time anybody tried to do something like this. Like that was the first idea. <laughs> let me, let me, I got to look at one now. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, man. Yeah, anybody in the chat, if you want to go to to look what, at the monstrosity that we're looking at, the Washburn Wonder Bar. Yeah, it's not like a Floyd... A Floyd Rose or that style just looks awesome. It has a look to it. And for the most part, it hasn't changed in what? 35 years? Mm hmm Right? Oh, thank you. Uh it was just posted in the Discord. I just saw it. <laughs> oh, look, uh, this is Mr. Rose and Mr. Kaler. Our sincere apologies. Uh your advances in tremolo design have been significant, but serious problems still exist. Weak string res response, string bending, headaches, reduced sustain, time-consuming string changes, and sky-high installation fees. Washburn's new Wonder Bar Tremolo solves these problems by eliminating the blah, 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 blah. And then, I mean, it actually looks like something out of, out of Battlestar Galactica. I yeah. Mean, look, look, at, look at When I was telling you the thing's a nightmare to deal with, look at that. Yeah. Because what happens is the strings, the strings actually, if I remember correctly, they roll on like little wheels. And for those of you just now tuning in, have no, I have no idea what you're looking at. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah, somebody please post this one in the Discord. This picture. Shots fired. That's what that was right there. Yeah. No, but when you said it looks like something out of Battlestar Galactica, you're 100 percent right. It looks something. It looks like something that, like, on a TV show, right? That they're trying to do. Okay, what what is this going to look like <laughs> five thousand years from now? Like, that's it, what they came up with. It looks great as long as you don't have to deal with it yourself. <laughs> what is the what's the extra hole for the? That's that's so you you can use it left handed. You can put it on a lefty. It has. You're talking about the top or the the yeah. middle? Oh, on the see, top. I don't even know now. Because that wouldn't make any sense. Maybe Everything... you can have the bar like in the middle of the thing. <laughs> yeah. So it doesn't have you don't have to like route out. You can put that on a on a hardtail guitar, right? Um. Let me think. It sits flush. Yeah. There's no. There's no. Uh, what do you call it? L block. Mm -hmm. It it sits right on the top of the. I think. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I mean, in theory, great idea. Yeah. I think I have a picture of me actually using one. Although I got throwing it against the wall. Yeah. Hang on a sec. I got I got I forgot I gotta take something out of my freezer. Uh Jim Nicholas says that Ace Fraley, sorry, I, I know I was calling him Freely, but Fraley uses or used a Wonder Bar at one time on his Les Paul. Wow, really? Um, and Guitar Hack said Ace ruined his LP with that trim. Uh, look terrible. Speaking of Ace, uh, I believe his Washburn had a Wonder Bar on it. I could be mistaken. That's what Romeo Delight said. Uh, Frank Corcoran's in here. Hey, man. Hey, Frank. Who is LOL it? Battlestar Galactic? Because the one on Netflix. Joe Wentz. The one that was made, what, in like 2004, I believe, with, um, uh, what's the actor? Edward James Olmos. Right, 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 right. Phenomenal. My, my, my wife is really into that stuff. And she was watching, yeah, she was watching that show all the time. There's I remember four that. seasons. The first two seasons and the fourth season are great, especially the second season. Season three, eh, fight through it. Fight through the pain. <laughs> it, it does get better. Yeah, I was watching some of those. Mm -hmm. I was watching some of those. Um, and then here, here's me. Believe it or not, this is me, you guys. I know, I, I look like somebody out of out of Pearl Jam or something. But that's that's me right there. Okay, and this is my hammer, and there's the Washburn Wonder Bar. Look at that. Look how long, sorry, excuse my, uh, <laughs> but look, look how long your bar is. Wait, oh, you can see that? Oh, oh, you mean on the guitar? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that's. Are you looking down at your guitar right there, saying, "Why do Why won't you?" Sing? <laughs> what am I doing? I'm zoned out. Even though I've I've never taken drugs in my life. Hey, man! When you play music, sometimes you don't need that crap. Mm-hmm. And then look, maybe you can see the nut. Maybe. Oh, almost. I'll uh, I'll I'll put this in in the in the Discord. But look, you got your block letter fifty one fifty. Yep. Oh yeah. Right there. And you're right in front of the amp. It's probably blowing your shirt off. Yep. Yep. Oh, and yeah, I'm playing with with live drums, and this was in a tiny little, tiny little shed in Hayward, California. Hmm. So I'm very surprised that the tinnitus I have now, that I didn't get it then. But I remember walking after after rehearsals, walking out of there. And just your ears are just like buzzing. And I, I didn't wear earplugs either. Oh, well, I wear earplugs. And it's funny when I go to a concert or a show or something and you go outside afterwards or even during the show, you go outside for a bit. You know who's you know who didn't wear earplugs because they're all outside. Hey, man, that was an awesome show, guys. Did you see that thing in there? Whoa. <laughs> <It's yelling. laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I wear them now. I mean, mostly. If if it really depends on the show, if if they start up and if it's not so bad, I can take them out and be like, okay, this is fine. But and then some shows you got to wear double. I wear the earplugs and the 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 construction worker muffs on top of those. <laughs> you know, Paul Gilberts. Yeah. Does he? Yeah. Wear, I don't think he wears those anymore, right? Or does he? Um. I haven't I haven't seen him in a, a couple of years, but I've actually I've actually held an actual pair of the ones he actually uses. Mm-hmm. Um, he donated a pair of those to to a friend of mine's uh, charity. I remember some years back, um, and I believe it actually has like a little speaker in it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they're monitors. Yep. Yeah, yeah. And w- when I saw him at the Nam show some years back, I actually asked him about those. And he was actually telling me exactly what they did and, and stuff. Because he's actually lost like a lot, a lot of hearing. Yeah. He, he actually reads lips. That's what he actually does. Um now did he lose all of his hearing because of music? Because he didn't wear protect his ears for for that long? Or is it like just a culmination of maybe you know, some people when they get older, they start to lose their hearing. Mm-hmm. Is it just from music? I I I think a lot of, I think most of it was from music, mm-hmm. just from playing super loud. I think he used to like, he used to put his head like down in front of like his speakers just to, well, I mean, we all did. We all did that, but I don't know. I always wear earplugs, man. Always. I remember one show we were playing, I was headbanging so much. And all of a sudden I was like, man, my ears are or one of my ears. My, my left ear is just sizzling. And between songs, I didn't have an earplug and it fell out. And I, I noticed it, man. And it was, you know, that's not fun. That's, that's, that, that's the worst. Well, I don't know. Um, when one ear is worse than the other, as far as, because mine, my ears, you guys, what happened to me was there was an amplifier behind my head, like up here. And the guy playing the guitar, he hit the wah pedal and it was like a knife went straight into this ear is what happened. So now like I'm wearing, you know, these things listening to Jay, but I actually have like way more buzzing and sizzling on this side than I do on this side. So you would think you would think I would have a problem walking because of my balance is always off because of the sound, the noise in my head, Mm -hmm. you know, but, but that's what I was going to say is it's, it's really bad when one side is like, well, just the balance. Like w- afterwards, you walked out of there and you probably noticed a, a balance issue. Yeah. Um, yeah. Hi hats and China symbols. Fender Guru said it's the hi hats that made him deaf. Yeah. Certain symbols have a uh, extra, those high frequencies, man, just tear your ears out. Um, yeah. yeah. Eduardo Marino Porto says, what kind of earplugs, Jay? I just, I've always just used the uh, 
I don't think I have any up here. They're downstairs. Just the foam, you know, the ones you you squeeze a little, you roll, and then you put them in, and they expand. I've the always orange? Just used those ones, man. The orange ones. Orange or yellow or green or whatever the hell color. 3M maybe. Yeah, yeah. You get them at the drugstore. Uh, I think the ones I have, I got at Home Depot, like a big like thing of them. Mm -hmm. They almost look like the, those cheese puffs. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't mistake the thing of cheese puffs for the thing of of, of uh, earplugs, mm -hmm. ear puffs. <laughs> I just took two cheese puffs, but. <laughs> Yeah, I remember uh, there was a guy that worked at a guitar store when I was a kid, and I was asking him about earplugs. And this is when I was first starting out, and and he's like, "Oh, he's like, oh, you can just get some tissue, roll it up, put it in your ears." He's like, "That's what I do." And no, 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 <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah, that that's what it'll sound like. Hear that sizzle? sizzle. No, no, no. Mm-hmm. I think I told you uh, uh, some years back, I kept th thinking that the speaker in my car was blown because every time I would turn my radio up, it'd be like, <laughs> like the sound, it would be like a little distorted on this side. Turned out it was my ear. Damn. It wasn't the speaker. It was my ears used to actually distort. They don't do that anymore. They haven't done that in a long time, but. Maybe that's some earwax rattling around. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I used to get I used to get all sorts of uh, I, actually I, I used to think I was hearing like a train like way off in the distance, like late at night. I'd be thinking, oh, there's a train going by at, at this time or whatever. And it turned out it was my ears. I would get like a, like a real low, like like thump, like rattling. It'd be like like super, super low. And People I would go had, nuts because of uh what do you call it? Tinnitus, tinnitus. I call yeah. it tinnitus. Whatever. I've heard of cases where where people have actually committed suicide because of yep. it. And because the thing is, you can't escape it. You have to. I know my drummer has um he has it and he has to sleep with with some kind of sound on, whether it be one of those noise machines, whether it be music, whether it be talking. I have one. Yeah, I've got I've got uh, uh it's called a, a white noise mm -hmm. generator. And some of it is like uh, just white noise, which we all know. If you work in music, you know what white noise is. Yep. Um, sounds of like uh, like uh, the ocean. Mm -hmm. You know, the one thing that really really helps you guys, and like I, I told you guys, I go up to Walnut Creek every week. I'll be up there tomorrow. Um, something that I do is I'll walk by like a water like a water fountain, and just sit there for a little bit. Because the sound of, of, of water, like running water, totally takes the tinnitus away. It just Really? Yeah. Yeah. So if any of you guys, if you guys have a problem with uh, ringing your ears, go into the, the kitchen or the bathroom, turn on your faucet, and you'll notice the buzzing. It's gone. Well, uh, Absolute Mayhem said he posted the link to the tinnitus cure. Is it really a cure or is it just like a certain thing you put on and you don't notice it anymore like johnny's saying um there is no cure i mean trust me i've i've uh, uh this uh, that what happened to me i was telling you about the amp that it was like a knife into my ear yeah, yep. that happened in the year in the year 2000 <laughs> <Yeah, yeah. laughs> <laughs> oh that happened in uh 2000 it's been eight years 2010 is when that happened Man. and i was on the internet looking up every sort of everything about how do you get rid of this what do you do blah 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 and there's there are ways you can it's called masking there's a there's ways you can mask it one of those ways is running water mm -hmm. but then also you'll have to you'll have to feel like you have to use a bathroom every yeah <laughs> 10 minutes <laughs> and, and the, well the, i guess the one cure would be oh gosh <laughs> I don't mean to make light of that, but I, I had to do it. Oh, um, but uh, yeah, thankfully the, the the case that I have, I've gotten used to it. I can deal with it. Mm -hmm. But for a while there, it's you know you're going. I, I went to so many different ear doctors. You know, 
And well, there look, are you reading the chat right now? Uh, Fifty-one fifty-five guy said, "I can post a link again to a very real way to improve it. Mine is gone just by doing a physical therapy. That is easy. I'm gonna have to to look this up, man. I mean, I don't have it. Um, the only thing I get is like every couple of days, all of a sudden, like one of my ears will go deaf real quick and then ring, and then after like 10, 15 seconds, it go, it snaps back to normal. Um, like totally deaf? No, no, just like it'll go." and then it'll go away yeah yeah oh yeah that that that, that happens to everybody yeah that, i i mean that, that happened to me when i was a kid mm -hmm. um that i heard that has something to do with like like blood or something like, <laughs> what <laughs> losing it's like it's, it's, it's your brain telling your ears or telling your body that you're getting dumber it's like <laughs> yep, another one keep going nerve damage you know what um showman i was uh I'd say about three years ago now, my left ear, I felt like I either had a bug or an insect inside of it, like, you know, Star Trek, um, oh. or, or almost like a, like a, I had a, a, an ear hair tickling. And I went to an ear doctor, an ENT, and he looked inside of it and nothing. So I was looking up as well, like what would what would be the cause of that? And some people say that that's an actual nerve damage, and it feels like somebody is tickling my eardrum. It's ba it's almost constant that this happens. The itching? Yes, I've I've had that too. What is that? I've had that too. It's well, well, you, I mean, you know, you, you know what tinnitus is. It's it's the it's the the uh, it's your ear trying something like trying to to make up for the for the for the 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 damage that's happened that something like that mm -hmm. um tonight is tuesday we're really getting into it man Everybody, <laughs> everybody's involved this is great yeah and we got 60 you know i think we close to like 70 people at one point yeah um <laughs> uh what but yeah, yeah, it's it's not funny. I mean, if anybody, um, if you've played guitar for at least, uh, if you've played, if, if you've been to shows for any amount of time or whatever, or if you're a little older, like David Nesdol, um, you know, everybody, if if you play an instrument, yeah, you're gonna have some sort of ringing in your ears at some point, you know, going to shows, you know. Fifty one fifty fly guy says you can get rid of it. Um, Oops, I missed it before. Somebody said they went and saw Metallica on the Justice Tour, and their their ears were ringing for two weeks. Who was that? Well, I missed it. I saw it scroll by. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Michael Collins said eighty eight and Justice for All. My ears rang for two weeks. <laughs> oh. I don't think anybody wore earplugs back then. I mean, you watch like those old concert videos, you know? Like I was watching Live on a Net not too long ago, and I'm looking. I'm like, are any of them wearing earplugs? You know, right. right, and they were cranked. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, um, hmm? okay. Well, hey, at least this this uh, this chat will will stay. So, fifty fifty fly guys putting in the name of the channel, the guy that talks about the uh, tinnitus cure. I probably looked that up eight years ago and i mean a lot of it the thing is you you can kind of like you you can make it um manageable by let's say your diet you know like diet. caf caffeine caffeine and soda and and salt sodium soda sodium <laughs> i can't that's talk. the new like salt soda <laughs> sodium what's the sodium hey at least i said oh um <laughs> That actually can 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 rise it up. That that can make make it go oh, like really? like all this all this Nick Thompson tea that I'm drinking. I love it, man. Um, th that that actually aggravates. That makes it louder. Wow. But the thing is, I've had this for so long. I'm used to it. I know when it gets louder and and whatever. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Johnny drinks. Oh, um, I heard 
I heard that even though I think he came back for a little while. I think he's actually back, although I haven't seen, you know, uh, Phil Collins. I heard the reason he left music was because of tinnitus. Yeah. That's what I heard. I heard. Yep. And you got guys like, um, uh, I remember when I was a kid going into the, in the guitar center and, and there'd be like, uh, guitar magazines with, uh, Jeff Beck on the cover. And I remember people, you know, in there, you know, talking, looking, oh, I heard that guy's ear is like ring, like airplane, like jet engines, you know, mm-hmm. like really bad. Um, but obviously he's able to deal with it because he still plays. Well, I remember years ago, my brother was telling me, you know, this was probably, you know, in the nineties sometime, maybe mid nineties or earlier at the time, like Alex Van Halen had like 60% hearing in one ear and 40% in the other. So between the two of his ears, he had one ear as far as his hearing. Right. Well, there's, there was actually an interview. I want to say back in like 1984, somewhere where where they're talking to him and they're talking about his his hearing loss back then Mm -hmm. and i do believe he's actually responsible for uh like you know in ears like monitors Mm -hmm. he was actually the first person to actually test those out really yeah the guy that invented those gave them to alex van halen something like that and he was actually the first guy to actually use them some, something like that, like years ago. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, that's cool. You should have had him named after him. Yeah. There was an article I read about it. I'll have to, have to, have to dig it up that. and post it in the, <laughs> in the discord. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Fifth and 50, 50, 50 fly guy. Yeah. It, yeah. It's therapy. It's therapy, but yeah, there. I don't, I don't believe there is a, a cure to it. Um, but like I said, there's ways you can manage it. There's, you can change your your uh, your 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 diet, Pant. your pants. <laughs> <laughs> but the thing is, I'm once I'm not you- changing my pants, <laughs> I'll deal with it. You know, if you have any kind of hearing um, damage, you know, it's like I'm very, very careful when I go to shows now. I mean, I've got earplugs with me, you know, already, but I'm very careful. Um, actually, I went to a, uh, I went and saw Chickenfoot, actually, in San Francisco at the, uh, oh, what's, John, are you still in here? What's the, the theater on, uh, on uh what's what's the what's the main road there in san francisco the the warfield <laughs> warfield theater i i saw chicken foot in there and we went in to to sit down before they came on and they had just house music playing mm-hmm. and it was so loud just just the music see that's a, that's annoying i'm like this is this is insane and then once the band started, yeah, it was actually, it was so loud. I actually, I spent half the show in the lobby <laughs> because it was too loud. In the parking lot. It was, it was so loud. I couldn't deal with it, you know? <laughs> yeah, and it's not cool. And um, I remember I went and saw another band there uh, like a year later, a couple years later, a band called Garbage, mm-hmm. you know, which I love. And I was actually kind of afraid going back to this venue because of how loud the previous show was. Um, but thankfully, garbage doesn't play that loud. And I remember uh, they didn't even have any amps or anything on stage. They were actually using. They weren't uh, even playing. They were just. <laughs> <laughs> they they were lip syncing everything. They were just standing um, around hanging out while their album played. <laughs> great, great. Um, <laughs> Listen to this part right here. <laughs> I remember reading an interview and actually all, all their on all the music stuff. It was all like, like, um, they weren't using actual amps. They were using all modeling amps. So everything, they were all like in ears, like on stage, you couldn't, all you could hear was drum. There was no actual sound on the stage. Mm -hmm. So I guess, 
you know, meaning that the show wasn't as loud as that previous loud with Satriani on the stage was actually yeah. the show I was at Satriani actually blew an amp. I remember. Search the channel here. Actually, I posted the video to the channel here. Search the channel here for Satriani and you'll come across that chicken foot show that I was at. And I remember recording. I just happened to be recording when he blew the amplifier. Ooh. Yeah. Oh, son of a. <laughs> Epic break. Um, yeah. But anyway, yeah, I'm very, very careful when I go to shows now. And, and, uh, if, uh, uh, if I, if I go and jam with people or whatever, you know, because I've already got this side, I'll, I'll tell you guys what it sounds like. It sounds like I've got a fluorescent light, like a lamp flickering right above my head on my left side. That's terrible. Nonstop. Like right now, right now, I would, I would swear, I, I would swear there's a light right here going zzz, zzz, like nonstop. And it's in my ears. That's horrible. It's, well, it is. 5150 fly guy, you're going to have to go watch his, uh, the video. That he's talking about, but not right now. He said, "Go watch it now." It's only four minutes long. <laughs> after, after the show, and uh, Sean, uh, the Sean Murphy Journal says, "Do people still use whammy bars on guitars?" Well, look what I unboxed today. So yeah, I do. I don't know about anybody else, but I do. <laughs> I do. <laughs> well, which which guitars are, are, is he talking about? Maybe he's talking about a. Uh... Oh, this thing Acoustics. Nice. Acoustic. This thing is nice. So I guess the only thing, I don't think there's one in here. I talked to them about it. Did they not include it? Um, crap. They didn't. I'm, I can't put a D-tuna on this yet. Well, I guess I'll have to use the longer. Oh, the other screw. Yeah. Right, right. Yep. And I, I talk, when, I, when I talked to Sarah on the phone, I asked her about that. Um, like maybe it's in here somewhere. But I don't think it is. So I'll, I'll order one from uh, maybe Adam. Mm -hmm. you tone, you know? And uh, put it in here. Mm -hmm. But you got to go. Yeah. Okay. Howie has to use the room. I'm, I'm going to take Howie out real quick. All right. Everybody get their questions ready. <laughs> please because i can't talk by myself here <laughs> <laughs> i'll leave my mic on so you can still at least hear me um showman blue says yes whammy is whack okay well you know we all do different things i guess uh 5150 fly guy the video is way more important than this show yeah but this show is gonna end soon so you can go watch it after this Bozik is here. What's up, man? Uh, let's see. Matthew Stewart says Ozfest. Yes, two thousand five Ozfest. Go watch. Uh, uh, he said, "How loud was the stage at Ozfest?" Um, not not crazily, not not too loud. Uh, we were always told the lower the stage volume, the more they can push the front of house volume uh so yeah and plus i wore earplugs so uh let's see what are we missing here everyone's posting in the discord about yeah uh jay your favorite rush album from jim nicholas see that's what i'm talking about give me some questions here about anything um that reminds, that reminds me oh cool that no get out of here i'm good i got it that reminds me of something I was going to bring up about Rush. Favorite Rush albums. Man, that's that's very tough. I will give you a couple of them. Um, obviously, 2112 is one of them. Uh, Signals is another one. And Presto, believe it or not. That's kind of like my three eras of Rush. They have like the hard rock version, which was 2112. Uh, then they went a little more, you know, with the keyboards. Uh, and that's where I, I dig signals a lot. Um, and then later on when they got, you know, kind of softer presto. 
So those, I think those three are my top three. It's hard to pick a favorite just because they changed so much over their career. Um, but Rush is great. Test for Echo, Bozik, phenomenal record. I think, in my opinion, that's their last good record. They have some cool songs on some albums after that, but that was like, I think their last, oh yeah. Uh, let's see, Jay, do you have any experience with Kaler Systems? I do not. Uh, James Byer says, I never use a whammy. The vibrato should be in the fingers in my view. You know what? That's one thing that I wish um, I was better at vibrato and my my fingers i mean my bending and vibrato that's always i consider it one of my weaknesses um i don't think it's because of my use of a whammy bar though um i just think maybe i didn't practice enough and uh of, on that but yeah dan halen says motorhead was loud we play with motorhead in new york city one time at the house of blues or bb kings and yeah they were I couldn't believe how loud they were. But like I said, earplugs. Wait, you, you played with uh, Motorhead yeah. or BB King? Which, no, which one? <laughs> yeah, and at the same time, <laughs> Motorhead or BB King. Imagine getting those two bands confused. Oh, man. No, at BB Kings in New York City. BB Kings, yeah. Uh, Jason Wade, do you use alternate tunings other than drop D and half step down? No, I do not. I usually, when I used, uh, when, all the seven string stuff that we've ever done, standard tuning, B to E. And mm -hmm. on a six string, it's always either standard tuning or drop D. That's it. I was never a guy that like kind of changed tunings. Um, mm -hmm. yeah. Well, if you got the D tuner though. Well, that's what I'm saying. Drop D. Yeah. Drop D. Too. But even before that, even before like a drop D or anything, years ago when I had that six string Ivan, as I was telling you about. You know, I would just tune, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. the, and then next thing you know, your guitar is out of tune, but it worked at the time. Um. <laughs> Thank you, Jim. Um, yeah, really quickly, really quick. Uh, you were talking about Rush. And I was going to say, um, you know, cause I, I've been like super into till tuesday since friday <laughs> um i saw that uh amy mann actually sings on on a rush song did you know that and she's really? actually in the music video yeah oh uh time stands still yep that's yeah. her that's her, that's her. Yeah. yeah okay i was wondering who that chick was on that song <laughs> and that that's her voice in the song Hmm. Yeah, I read that they they paid her uh like was it two thousand dollars or something? They they Wait, wanted to be get... on the record or to be on the video or just combined total. Maybe, maybe something like that, something like that. And actually, they they were looking to get somebody else. Who was it? This is just something I read online. They were looking to get somebody else, um, and then they ended up. She was available, and, and so she was the one that they got. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Jay, what do you like the most about that Wolfgang? Uh, I guess we kind of talked about this a bunch of times, um, but it's just one of those, you know, like when you pick up a guitar and you just, it has it, you know? Um, it's the third Wolfgang I've played. Actually, te well, technically fourth, if you consider the multiple um, signature models that I got sent to me that went back. But uh, it just has it. Everything about it sound it sounds great. It resonates. The sustain on it is is amazing. Um, the neck feels awesome. I, it just it just has it, mm -hmm. and it has vintage stainless steel frets. <laughs> that's the only there, thing that matters uh-huh so, so you can't go back to what jumbo to, to regular jumbo nickel no regular frets 
I mean, obviously you do because you got other guitars sitting there that are different, well, but yes. Um, cause I have been playing the black and green universe a little bit lately. And that has, I think the medium frets on it, which with the early universe and gem models, that's what they had. It was medium. So they're, they're smaller, you know, mm -hmm. but it just, the friction, man, it feels like you're bending on a, on sandpaper instead of glass. It, there really is, there really is a difference feel wise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because when they wear down, you feel it. Oh yeah, within the bends, you you, you feel, you feel the the spots. Whereas mm -hmm. on the stainless steel, there are no spots. No man, it's just and it's it, yeah, it's like it's like playing on it's like bending on glass is what is what it's like. Yeah. <laughs> hey, broken chains. Good to see you, man. Vinny Romano, what's up, man? Ah. Uh. Wait a minute, Nesdal. I told you, you couldn't. We <laughs> he called in sick because he was. Uh, what was it? Well, he's on vacation, so there really is no calling in sick. So <laughs> he's on vacation. Yeah. No. So I, I, I told, I told uh, Jay and Nesdal that I'd be ready in an hour. You know. And Dave's like, "Sorry, can't make it. I'm watching bluegrass." You know. And so, well, he always gives you a hard time saying, we better not see you in the chat then if you're yeah. not here. So I said to Dave, we better not see you in the chat. I just got in from watching a show. Is, is that a hint? <laughs> how, how, many, uh, how many Crystal Pepsis do we have? One. Mm -hmm. Did you, you read what I wrote in the chat? Uh, a couple weeks ago when I was out. Um, somebody was talking about Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> and I remember remember like a year or two ago, uh, a summer, they uh, they reissued it. Yeah. <clears throat> I bought one and it just, it wasn't good. You accidentally bought a vintage one off eBay, right? <laughs> and drank it. Was it was like green. <laughs> <laughs> so, so I bought one. And I remember like I was in the store looking at that. I'm like, what is different about it? You know? And I looked, I picked up a regular Pepsi, 20 ounce bottle of Pepsi. And I was looking at the crystal clear, the crystal, whatever the hell, crystal Pepsi. Crystal meth yeah. Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> I'd have been better off drinking that. There's more sugar in the clear Pepsi than a regular. How? Why? Well, I'll tell you why. I'll tell you how. That's how they make it clear. You're not looking at clear. You're looking at white. You're looking at all sugar in that thing. <laughs> it just made <laughs> Crystal Pepsi has multiple accounts. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we know exactly who that is, too. Yep. Go to Chipotle. <laughs> <laughs> That's where all the people are. Yeah. <laughs> I wouldn't doubt it, Mike. Yeah, Jim Nicholas. I swear somebody peed in this bottle. Jolt Cola? Mm -hmm. Oh, I was scared of that stuff. I don't think I ever tried that. No. The the place to buy Jolt Cola back when I was a kid was at the uh, concession stand at the baseball fields, like the Little League fields. Mm -hmm. And if, imagine them putting that now, like for kids at the concession stand at the Little League field. They'd be like, you guys ain't selling that. There's kids here. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, it it was it was aimed towards kids. Is mm -hmm. what it was, you yep. know, because I was a little kid when that stuff came out, and e that's what everybody talked about on the playground. Hey, have you tried Jolt Cola? Have you tried this? And they're all like this. You, hey, have you guys tried Jolt? <laughs> what was what was the the slogan? Twice the sugar, double the caffeine. What was it? Uh, what was the? Oh, I'm gonna uh, look it up now. Let me close the Washburn Wonder Bar window and look up Jolt Cola. <laughs> 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 terrible things. Hey, oh. somebody post the, the Jolt Cola uh, commercials over in the Discord. <laughs> yeah, I can't touch that stuff. And uh, actually, I'll never do. Um, I remember being down in Hollywood and hanging out at this. Um, oh, what's. Uh, is it Barney's Beanery? <laughs> what? Or is it Beanie's Barnery? Which is it? It's it's a restaurant down in Hollywood, California, and I remember hanging out down there, um, going to dinner there a few times, and I remember one night, I was getting all, uh, uh, what what is it, 
what's the drink with the uh, uh, vodka and uh, Red Bull? Red Bull. I was drinking those. Yeah, I remember drinking vodkas and Red Bulls and just being like, ah, uh, yeah, that's mm -hmm. no. I can't even drink a regular uh, Coke. I can't. It, it caffeine gets right to me, and I I end up almost going insane. Yeah, like, yeah, like that. There's <laughs> no, there's no way. There's no way I, I could do that. I shouldn't be drinking it either, but you know what? <laughs> I shouldn't be drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> who is uh, Showman says? Who was asking about Kaler Tremolos? Yeah, somebody had a question if I had any experience about it. I'm sure somebody in here does. I'm sure Johnny does. The Kalers? Yeah. I've yeah, I've used them. Yeah. The ones that are just like the Floyds, you mean? Or or the ones the ones that sit on top or the ones that are actually like a Floyd Rose, but say Kaler instead? I've tried those. Um and the ones that I played were actually black and they actually felt like rubber. What? Like it was, it was the the coating, the coating oh. all over the tremolo in the bar, like like you guys talk about um, uh, just the 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 coating on like a black uh, uh, tremolo. Yeah, I mean, that's what we're talking. That's what I'm trying I, to talk I about. Black, I have a black EVH Floyd laying around here somewhere, and it feels that same way. Like it's it's there's some coating on it, the bar, and oh. it just doesn't feel pleasant at all. But the, but the Kaler, the Kalers that I used to use. Imagine the feeling of that bar times 10 and then the whole tremolo feeling like that. No. That's that's how those would feel. Those mm -mm. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> and also, whoever just called, maybe you left a message. I hope so. <laughs> if, if you would like to get on, it, please um, send a text first to that phone number, just saying who you are and uh, your question or comment. Um, it cuts down on the on, on the jokers. Yeah. <laughs> so my Instagram page, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. I I'm having a hard time, man, getting over the 300 follower hump. I hit 306 last night or earlier today and now mm -hmm. i'm back to 300 I, I don't get it i think what it is and correct me if i'm wrong but people will follow you so you follow them back and then they unfollow you mm -hmm. i think that's what people do like if they if either if they follow you and they check back like the next day and if you didn't follow them back then they'll unfollow you because i get followed some weird things man and then Next thing you know, I'm back down to, you know, where I've been. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you exactly how all that stuff works. Um, okay, somebody did send a text. Yes. Let me see. Okay. Daniel from Virginia wants on the air. Well, like I said, let tell me what you want to talk about. Um, oh, there's a message. Wait, these are two different phone numbers, though. Uh-oh. Okay, I'll listen to that in a minute. Um, but no, no, what, what's happening is, let's say you're using, well, obviously, you're using, you're using some hashtags. And so what happens, people find you off those hashtags. Yeah, I know and how that, that works. That's how they find you. And then... Some of them, they just they follow you to get you to to get you to follow them back, and then they'll unfollow you. Yep. Like like they're just looking to just to gain followers, not not follow other people. You know. Yep. Like there's there's accounts. I I can post I I can post with with certain hashtags, and instantly get a like from certain accounts, like every time. Like the same account, like all of a sudden, you know, and obviously you, you go to that profile and it's, it's like just 
weird. <laughs> <laughs> weird. Your beard is weird. Um, yo, Jason Wade said, uh, I tried to give you a shout out on the Kiesel page to get you a free guitar. What? What, what page are you talking about? I got to see this so I can like it. <laughs> I heard about that. Really? <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> That's pretty funny. Oh, he mentioned me in a comment. Did I like it? Nice. Maybe I saw it. Well, hey, we got 60 people sitting here watching us live. Yeah, if any of you guys uh, go over to Kiesel, go over to their Facebook and their, their Twitter and their Instagram and tag Jay and all the stuff, you know, it'd be cool to, to get to get Jay a Kiesel guitar. That'd be awesome. And we're going to have Kiesel artist uh, Thomas McRocklin on Saturday. Oh, that's right. Yep. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna ask him a buttload of questions about his guitar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, they look cool. Mm -hmm. They look they look cool, man. I've I've never actually actually I have played one. I've played the Jason Becker. Mm -hmm. I've played one of those. Yeah, yeah, they're great. <laughs> Um, man, we've talked about so many different things. I don't even know what I know. Are. I'm trying to re respond, reply to something, but there's so many different jolt cola till Tuesday. Um, <laughs> wonder bars. <laughs> wonder. I was just thinking candy for a second. Oh, that sounds good. Um, Bozik says we have a Saturday show. Yes. This week coming up this weekend coming up. Uh, mm -hmm. We have Thomas McRocklin. For those who don't know, Thomas McRocklin was little Stevie Vai in the audience's listening video. Yes, I remember that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> so. Mm -hmm. And I remember he was in a band. Um, I want to say Bad for Good. Yes, Bad for Good. Was the band. I remember I remember when they were out. I remember their lead singer was actually uh, uh, was, was a TV actor. What What show was he on? Uh, salute your shorts oh, he was in God. salute your shorts he was um he was who's mccall it's friend in terminator 2 oh really yes yep that's cool i remember that i remember them yeah it, yeah it would be cool to talk to him about that um Uh, let's hear you guys play some guitar, Mr. Mustard. <laughs> <Tiku says. laughs> well, technically, if, if I would have known if it was going to be just the two of us, we would have. <laughs> you want to sing? <laughs> no. Um, Amanda, can you get Ben to sing that song to us? Just oh, the that's two right. Of us? I never went to watch. Somebody's got to send me the link with that timestamp <laughs> so I can watch them sing to you. Hey, somebody uh, post a, a link uh, uh, a link to that in the Discord, please. There we go. There we go. Um, yeah, because you you can you can actually share um, YouTube videos at a certain point. Like you can it, when when you go to share the video, you can actually like put in like the actual you can timestamp where you want to share it. Yeah. Um. Oh, what was I about to say though? Oh. If you want, we would have used something else so we could actually play. Yes. Yeah. Um, if we would have used OBS, we could, we could actually play the guitar on here for you. But because of Google Hangouts, what we're using, you can't play the guitar. Um, you can, but it'll sound like it's underwater. Mm -hmm. Wait, actually, you can if, if you switch over. Yeah, but then you have to mute your speakers. Oh. Remember that one time we actually tried it? It did sound better, but then it picks up like everything. Um, so yeah, right. right. But you know, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Well, tune in, tune in again, please subscribe to the channel. Click the bell, leave a thumbs up and, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll play guitar on here. I mean, I, I do. I play guitar in here from time to time, like live, uh, live stuff. Uh, what am I looking at? Do you guys know any Van Halen? Lowell. 
<laughs> I I know a little bit, and I'm not joking. <laughs> yeah, I don't know too 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 much. <laughs> what sort of stuff do you guys play, James? Probably talking to everybody. Um, myself, I play all all kinds of different stuff. A lot of original stuff. Um, I'm actually recording some guitars for a uh, for a, a movie. Actually, I got the job yesterday. So actually, that's what I'm doing tonight. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, diff different things. Different stuff. And I'm more of a metal guy. Mm -hmm. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> and I, too, got a gig doing... Uh, well, my, mine isn't a movie. Mine's for a trailer. But... um, And I... The trailer I was doing is nothing like metal at all. It was more southern rock like 70s southern rock is what i was doing which was kind of you know, i never really played anything like that before so it was kind of uh i don't want to say a challenge but it, it, it's, it kind of was at the same time mm -hmm. you know, a little challenging to get that out of somebody that doesn't normally do that because mm -hmm. i'm not one of those guys that can just sit down and play anything <clears throat> so right right well that that's that's one of the reasons i know you you kind of you kind of went Ugh, the other day when i said i listened to everything yeah Ugh. that's i mean that's why that's why you do that so let's say if somebody says hey can you play something that sounds kind of like in this style where e even though if it's not your strongest you know way of playing you you, you still kind of you you get kind of an idea of what what they want yeah you know <laughs> Johnny Bean, how do you hmm? how do you feed your bored audio? Is this am I boring? <laughs> is my audio where's the <laughs> no 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 there it is. There it is. I always get those two confused, the thumbs down and the sad face. Do do I have a monotone voice? <laughs> um actually, how do I get this into there? I'm running through a board. That's right. You guys can't see it. It's right here. And basically that's I'm just running that into the into the computer. And that's it. I'm actually doing this the, the such a weird old school way rather than most how most people would actually do this. You know, mm -hmm. most people now I think everything now is uh USB. Yeah, that's so why like, I have my little so like, uh so it, it's blue yeah. Yeah, the blue the, my blue blue yeti. US, USB. But if I wanted to actually play guitar and plug it direct, like you do when mm -hmm. you do your, uh, you know, when you play at night and stuff, you know, I'd have to rig up some weird way to do it, you know, to get Pro <laughs> Tools to go into this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what model strat is that? Matthew Stewart. That is the Fender. Uh... Elite, right? No, it's the David Ennis. The David Ennis signature model. Signature. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, David Ennis. Yeah, that was a gift from our, our friend David Ennis. And that's that's my main main axe, you guys. That's that's the only guitar I play. <laughs> it's amazing. Um... And when you guys hear me play late at night, like whoever was asking if you ever who if if we ever play guitar in these things all the all the audio of me playing the guitar it's all this guitar mm -hmm. all of it and uh whoever asked also if we play guitar in these things i i'd probably prefer not to play too much live because i'd you know i told you guys this before but i'm the type of guy that if i go into a music store and play guitar the volume is super low you know Mm -hmm. I, I'm the same way. Yeah. I'm the same way. Although, thanks to my uh, uh, germophobia, 
I won't even touch guitars now in music stores. I'll look, and I, I won't even touch them. <laughs> I don't blame you at this point. <laughs> Although, <laughs> you guys can ask uh, Zippy, though. You look at my guitars, and my guitars are disgusting. And But it's it's your it's your germs, you know? It's my own... My it's my own disgust. Yeah, it's your own filth. Although filth, I'm actually getting pretty gross. Uh, I won't say it. Let me just say I I need to get a new a new keyboard. I've I've had way too many dinners sitting here, and I can tell you exactly what I've had for dinner the past couple of years. Oh, <laughs> where's the puke button on here? <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> kick up that tinnitus, so I don't have to hear that. Oh yeah. no, I'm just kidding. It's not it's not that bad, but um <laughs> Showman, didn't I did I answer that already? What do I like best about my new Wolfgang? I thought I did I talk about it? I thought I did. I, I think it was what do you like about it, maybe. How it feels and how it sounds, how it plays. And I can't believe I don't have my bar on right now. <laughs> I took it off because I was playing something that I was, uh, I had to do some bends, which, you know, I was talking about before about my, uh, vib vibrato isn't being as, as good as it should, but you know, I was doing some bending and you heard, wait, what am I doing? I'm <laughs> showing the camera, but the microphone's here, but so you heard the bar, the tremolo hitting the body, but you also heard the bar jiggling. So I was like, I got to mm -hmm. get that off. Mm -hmm. So I just got it out of the way. So, <laughs> but yeah, this thing just plays amazing and sounds amazing and feels amazing. So that's, that's what I like about it. Oh, it's amazing. Yep. It's amazing. Oh, wait a minute. Thank you guys for, for the chatter. Uh, Citizen Kane, John Bean, what is your old school method? Line out of the audio board to line level of the computer audio card. Um, I wish I could tell you. I mean, it's listen to that. Basically, it's it's like, <laughs> wait, I can't show this on here. Yeah, what are you doing? <laughs> <laughs> oh. Here's here's my my Ziploc of of stuff. <laughs> um yeah ba basically what i'm doing is i'm, I'm running a uh, uh what what is it uh, i can't even think the double what's the cable with the the, the red and the and the white the, the two oh, rca um, rca yeah. Yes. yeah i'm basically running my board into rca and then that into the into the computer. This is what I'm doing. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> it's focusing on Howie's face. <laughs> <laughs> look at him, he's looking. And look at that with the clock back there. I can actually see what time it is now. Even though to me it's backwards, so it looks like 6:15. Um a64 T-Bird posted something that reminded me of uh, a video about stainless steel frets that uh, Pete Thorne did. He talked about refretting, you know, he talked about stainless steel frets and he said he refretted, I believe he said like an older Les Paul. And he said it was a terrible move. <laughs> mm -hmm. The way the neck or something, the radius of the neck, it just wasn't good with stainless steel frets so you could be onto something with that 1975 gibson les paul custom um i wish i knew what video it was uh it might have been just one of his chats and somebody asked him about stainless steel frets and he basically you know just kind of said you know certain necks you, you he made a mistake by doing it <clears throat> so hmm. because he put in the smaller frets I don't know about the size of the frets. He might have. Uh, all I know is that he did mention he put stainless steel on an older guitar. And he regrets doing it. So. 
Mm -hmm. I'm sure if you message him or something, he might uh, give you more information. Who who is that? Huh? Like a different different person without your glasses. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so I I, I, I uh, I've been having problems with the glasses and the earphones pushing the glasses. Like it irritates the sides of my. Oh. So it <laughs> there you go. So it just yeah. it just hurts. It's really lately, it's it started happening. <laughs> See, it's funny when I wear them, but it's cool when you wear them. <laughs> Wait a minute. Yeah, where's mine? Well, mine, mine are actual glasses. I mean, they're actual uh, prescription or whatever. See, everybody, doesn't Johnny look normal like right now? It's like, oh, that's that's Johnny, but me <laughs> cool wearing... Wearing sunglasses on on uh, YouTube here. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, speaking of Instagram, if you want to get over three hundred followers, post more selfies wearing the the sunglasses. That's all. All my pictures over there are all with, you know. Well, how many followers do you have? I don't know. I've I've got three different accounts. Oh. Hey, I got a new follow. Romeo Delight started following me. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. It, got one person from the show that heard me. Let me see. Actually, you guys, too, down in the description below, there's actually a link to Jay's uh, Instagram. Not that I post that much cool stuff, but, you know. I mean, there is um, some kind of cool stuff on there. I got a heart. Go <laughs> Go back to my first ever Instagram post. Okay, let's see. That'll be easy because I I re uh, re, re I re reposted <laughs> your uh, Thomas uh, McRocklin uh, post. So there you are. Yep. Okay, so go back to your first. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I only have seventy six posts, so it's not that far back. It's a Black video. And white. It's a video. Yes. Yes. Let's see. You gotta have the volume on. <laughs> yeah. Wait, 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 wait. I swear, hold on. What? I curse at the end of that. I I I curse at the very end, so that's why I yelled. So <laughs> <you didn't... laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You can play the beginning. You can play the how beginning. Many the, how many of your videos are, are like this? this <laughs> oh. Oh, wait. Hang on. Here, let me. Oh, whoops. See? Okay. You, co you covered it, though. Here we go. Genie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Talent. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Wait, how many? So, how many of these videos are like that? I'm, I'm, uh, there's one. It looks like you guys are at the table. There's one of you in a car. Yeah. Is it the same? Is it all the same thing? <laughs> well, you know what? There, my favorite one. <laughs> no, it's not all. My favorite one is. Um, you see the picture of? You see this picture? It looks um, like she's sleeping in this one. Oh yeah, she's passed out. I recorded. She, <laughs> she was pissed. You see this picture? So we did a we did a pro wrestling fake promo video. There's a post. I've, I I saw it. Yeah, there's a post to the right of that one. It's kind of dark. The video. I saw that video. I watched that video. I remember that. The one, the one where I'm yelling. Here. There, I curse in that too. You can't play it. But you can. Yeah. Dang! <laughs> Whoa! Catch that? Hopefully, it didn't. Uh... Oh, that—that's one of my favorites. Oh my god! And it wasn't real. It was all a put on. One of my one of my friends called me up after I posted that. He's like, "Dude, you talk to Genie like that?" I was like, "No, you idiot!" Basically, it's a video of me yelling <laughs> at Genie. About not putting my, I went outside to walk the dogs in the snow. 
and she and my waffles were sitting next to the toaster oven because she had something in there. So mine were next to the toaster oven, ready to go in. So I was outside walking the dogs in the cold. And she took her stuff out of the toaster oven and just left my stuff sitting there ready to go in. So, you know, I had to make a video about it. Uh huh. <laughs> she didn't warm your waffles? Nope, she didn't warm my waffles. Jeannie, are you watching this? Are you watching? Does, does she know that you're talking about these videos? So she's sleeping in this one? Oh, yeah, she was ticked. That, that's the one she was, <laughs> she was mad at. She's like, you idiot. Oh, now I'm getting some followers, man. Look at this. Thanks, everybody. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Yep. That's terrible, right? <laughs> Are you getting followers? 304? Yeah. Yep. yep. There you go. No, I think this one's, this one's actually funny. Hold on. Crap. How do I go back? <laughs> okay. This one's actually fun. I'm gonna play this if you don't mind. Let me turn the let me turn the L volume up. All right, we go to the food store. Let me see if we can. Uh, the food store. I'll try to play this one. Nope. 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 Yes. Oreos. That's right. No. <laughs> no to everything else. Oreos. Yes. <laughs> You don't you don't dunk your Oreos in the milk? Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. You said no to milk though. I know. Thanks. At least you spotted that. I saw that. Yeah. So that was were you were you on um uh did you ever have a, a Vine account? No. Because that's very much like how Vine was. Every video on Vine was was videos exactly like that. Same kind of, kind of like all cut, mm -hmm. like because the way Vine worked, I don't know if if Instagram, maybe it's the same. Where if you want to record something like that, you record a little bit, stop, mm -hmm. record a little bit, stop, and it ends up being pieced. Like, is that how you did that? Yeah, that's how I did that. Okay, okay, yeah, that's something that Vine started, and then uh, it, Vine just kind of went away. That was Twitter's version of like a video, hmm. video uh, thing. <laughs> And Instagram kind of. Now, I got a question for everybody in the chat that just followed me. Do I have to follow you back? <laughs> Is this like a, you know, I showed you mine, now you got to show me yours type of thing? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Look, look. Yeah, any, it's mostly just dumb stuff, man. You know. Any any Green Day fans in here? Why is that? Here's Billy uh, Armstrong's uh, picture of him and Mike. This is their prom in 1989. Oh my god! <laughs> right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> that is funny. Uh okay. Yeah. Well, hey, yeah. If Instagram, if anybody uh if you follow Jay. See what it did. There's no space there. It's just J7 over eight is my Instagram. What's your Instagram, Johnny? Johnny Bean? Johnny Bean. Actually, I have three different accounts. I've got Johnny Bean, Howie has his own, Howie Bean, and then for all the Van Halen EVH gear stuff, EVH Gear Live. That's that's the other one. So let's see. Yeah, I noticed I haven't posted very much at all on my on my uh, the Johnny Bean account. Like the like I can count back like five posts and it goes back like weeks. You just repost other people's stuff. Well, the the EVH Gear Live Instagram, I I repost a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. um, people's uh, guitars and uh, you know yeah. man my lighting is getting really 
I guess you do need sunglasses if you have that light on in front of you. Yeah. Well, I got two lights. I've got one over here, and I've got this one here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, my lighting's getting really bad. But... So Jeannie is watching. She said some people are down here working, you know, after their 13-hour shift and all. <laughs> uh, and then she said she's going to unfollow me. <laughs> yeah. But hey, if any of you guys watching this, anybody watching, if you if you follow follow Jay, follow me on it, all the links are down below to our our accounts. But if you follow any of those any, any of those accounts, go ahead and like you know double tap a picture or leave a comment saying that you followed. Say hey, you know I followed you because of this, and I'll follow you back. Okay. There you go. So Somebody's you gotta back. let me know. You gotta let me know you followed because of this. Because you he, he saw us on here. Michael Smith. The hey, captain. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, oh, Michael Collings must have just watched my Nutella video. Yep. <laughs> I won't give it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, make sure the volume's up for that one. Does it have something to do with nuts and Nutella? <laughs> nope. Why Van Halen? James Byers wants to know. Why not? Craig. Craig. Hey, <laughs> hey man. Do we got to get a hey now button on here, too? <laughs> and a Craig button. Craig. <laughs> and an RMG471. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we got to get one of those buttons. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and why Van Halen? Because because it's Van Halen. I mean, that's there's yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm having way too much fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, that sucks because I gotta go in a minute. It's been two hours, and I'm having way too much. You're right. It has been two because we actually started on time tonight. We started exactly. It's been exactly two hours because we started. Uh, uh, it, it rolled over to one minute past. Oh, we started. So, but it's been exactly two hours and a minute. Oh, Michael Smith's so, been busy with the pooch here. He is beating all odds and hanging in there. Awesome, man. Mm -hmm. Uh, John BL. Thanks, guys. Going to call it a night. See you Friday. I'm going to have to wear my poof shirt for Friday night show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes. So are we good? Yeah, I guess so. I know there was a couple things uh, that I thought of today to talk about, but I know if we do that right now. <laughs> well, you said you got to go, though. Yeah, I do. <laughs> You'll be walking down the stairs. You'll be like, "Well, Johnny, you know this this thing over here." <laughs> You'll be all the way downstairs. <laughs> hey, Johnny! No, I remember that. I'm gonna tell you about that one thing. <laughs> I'll call you, and I'll just talk to you on the phone down there. You know, you put me next next to the microphone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you'll be like, like, hey, hey, Johnny, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> oh. Hey Johnny, I just posted something on Instagram for you. <laughs> In the Discord. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna pass out. <laughs> yes, but hey, yeah, the Discord, everybody, come on, come on over to the dis to the Discord, you guys. I'll be over there. I'll jump in the uh, the voice chat, the lounge. Is that the right word? How do you spell lounge? L O U. I don't know. No idea, but I'll, I'll jump in over there. So if you guys want to talk, I'll talk to you guys. And if you need a link to that, send me a text to 415. Steve, what's my number? 95. I was, I'm always afraid I'm going to give out the wrong number. It's down below. I used to have it written down right here, but I, I cleaned my desk one time, and it's not here. <laughs> L-O-W. I-N-D-G-E lounge. Something like that. Yeah. 952. 415. Oh, I don't want to say it. 
Ah, whatever. You guys know my number. Wait, wait, wait. Let me just link. scroll. Let me just scroll this, and I'll be able to see it. One sec. One sec. <laughs> um, I gotta get Nightbot rolling. Four one five nine five two three two six three. There we go. There we go. Send a text to that phone number if you would like a link to the Discord. But again, you can't just say "let me in." You know, you got to say who you are. Little pig, little pig, let me in. <laughs> well, that doesn't help. But... Little pigs, yeah. <laughs> you little pig. Um, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's better than big pig. Big pig, big pig, open up. You know, I think Big Pig was one of the bands that did a song on the Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure soundtrack, right? Big Pig. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Why is it hiding that? I don't know. There we go. Jay should make more funny videos on Instagram. I really should, man. I really should. Mm -hmm. And then somebody else liked this this photo right here, which is one of my favorites as well. Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember that one. <laughs> and that was September 29th of last year already. Holy cow. It seems like yesterday. Yeah, dude. Wow. Pig vomit. Pig vomit. All right. All right. So Jay has to get out of here. We better get out of here. We better get out of here before Nizal wants in. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So come on over to the Discord, the lounge. I'll jump into the voice chat. And if you guys want to want to talk and chat, I'll be over there. Send a text to that phone number if you want in. But again, say who you are. Okay. Otherwise, I'm not gonna. I don't send out links to uh, to nobody. Nobody's got to be somebody. All right. So uh, Jay, awesome, awesome man. Uh, see you Friday. Friday. And again, I'm starting Veda again. Uh, starting tomorrow. So there'll be there'll be a video every day, a live video, something this, something that. Uh, oh, and I'm I'm going to Texas. So there'll be there'll be videos from the road, awesome. From Texas, from uh, I'm stopping in L.A. Um, it looks like I'm actually going to be visiting with uh, Philip McKnight. That's going to be down, awesome. Down you in guys Arizona, gotta, you guys got to post something. Yeah. You... Oh yeah, we'll do something. Definitely, yeah. definitely. So and that's coming up. That's like a uh, uh, little over a week, Bless week you. and a half. Bless you. <laughs> That's like a week right. and a half from now or so. Something like that. So, okay. And then again, Saturday, Thomas uh, McRocklin. That'll be awesome. Yep. Cool stuff. So if you guys have questions for him, uh, get us your questions. You can tweet. You guys have our Twitter handles. You can tweet at us. Message, Facebook. Message on Instagram. All that stuff. Actually, we've got the posts on Instagram, on your page and on, the, on, uh, on my page. Leave questions down below in the comments. On yeah, those. and follow him on Instagram as well, and maybe send him a message and say, "Hey, gonna be watching you this Saturday." You know? Yes, yes, so. yeah, and we'll we'll repost that yeah. also. So yeah, because we need to tweet that out and uh, all that stuff. Hey, G, G, we're just leaving, man. <laughs> Good to see you, though, man. All right, everybody. Good to see you. Good to see you. And we'll see you guys. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Probably from Walnut Creek. So keep rocking, everybody. And uh, subscribe. Click the bell. And see you next time. John Bean TV. Bleh.